Hey church family, I want to take a minute and just talk about the importance of family worship and just talk about some practical ways about how we can be uh, leading our families in a time of worship. So first of all, just the, the biblical story assumes that parents will be uh, teaching their kids about who God is and what God has done. We see this idea in Deuteronomy 4, Deuteronomy 6, Ephesians 4, even Proverbs 1 through 9, these uh, amazing Proverbs that we all love are taught in the context of a father teaching his son. So it's important for parents to embrace the privilege and responsibility of discipling their children. Even though this is the clear teaching of Scripture, uh, leading our families in worship can be difficult, and there are several reasons um, why this could be the case. That's why here at 11th Street Baptist Church, we want to equip our families, our parents and our grandparents, uh, to be able to disciple their kids and grandkids with simple, fun, and biblical resources. So uh, in addition to those resources, I thought it'd be helpful maybe if I just kind of show or explain the imperfect ways that your pastor leads his family in devotions. So one way is that um, in the morning when we're together for breakfast, and this is not always the case, we will read uh, scripture together and pray together. Now this isn't uh, intimidating and it's, it's actually quite fun because we're reading through the Psalms and I'll just read a, a verse or two. I'll literally read, read one or two verses. So for example, if I was reading in Psalm 23, I'd read, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I'll tell my son and daughter, guys, God provides for us. He takes care of us. Do you see the food we're eating? God provided that food for us. Do you see the clothes we're wearing? God provided that for us too. And then I might say to Asher, Asher, let's pray and thank God for giving us food. He'll say, God, thank you, food. And that's glorious. And then we'll be done. It's really as simple as that. It literally takes me a minute to do it. But it's so important because our kids are seeing me opening up the word of God, reading the word of God, and us interpreting it praying together. Now, in addition to that, we, we have a kid's uh, Bible story that's really fit for toddlers, and each, each story takes probably two minutes to read, and we do that at nighttime. Now, we have to bribe our kids. We, we bribe them with graham crackers and vanilla nellas, so at the end of the day, we'll all sit down together. And again, it's not every night. It's the nights that we're all together. We'll sit down together, and we will uh, we will read the story, and we will pray together, and even sing together. Now, some nights are hairy. <laughs> Those nights, we don't get through it all. We just do one page, quick prayer, that's it. But there's other nights that are really good, where we're able to read the entire story, even have a discussion with our kids, and uh, enjoy some crackers. So, these activities are fun, simple, and biblical. So those are two ways that I have found successful uh, in leading my family spiritually. Now, a third way are these mission emphasis uh, brochures that Akilah has made for us. You'll notice that there is a student section on the back that your kids participate in uh, when they come to church, but their kids can also do these activities at home. What I have found helpful is just putting this on the refrigerator or leaving it on our dining room table. And I'll pray for us, we'll start eating dinner, and then I'll pull this out. And I'll just talk about Nepal. I'll say, Asher, Lila, did you know there are some people who don't have Bibles? It's awful. And we'll pray, right? And God, let there be Bibles in every, for every little boy and girl in Nepal. Or I might just say to Asher, Asher, little boys and girls love to eat oranges in Nepal. You like oranges? He'll say, yeah. And I'll say, let's just pray for the little boys in Nepal. He might say something as simple as, dear God, I pray for the boys, little boys in Nepal. And that's glorious. We have a map right next to our dining room table, and I'll show the kids where Nepal is. We'll talk about where we are at. And, you know, these are just easy ways, really organic ways for us to include God's mission into our regular conversation. And that's just another 
uh, thing that I found really helpful as I'm leading my family spiritually. My church family, I don't do this perfectly. Uh, if you were to see my fam our family devotions, you would know that. Uh, but it is my privilege and my responsibility to do this. So I wanna encourage you parents and grandparents to do the same. This is our privilege and our responsibility. When we think about family worship, let's be reading scripture together. Let's be praying together and singing songs together. And as we do this, let's keep it simple, let's keep it fun, and let's keep it biblical. Church family, I really hope this helps you and encourages uh, you and myself uh, to lead our families uh, spiritually.